This is the cup holder area on my 1999 Subaru Legacy. Your uh, 95s through 99s and probably some after that will have the same design. It's built in to the dashboard. You push this in and it slides out. Got a couple problems with it. Uh, it's very flimsy. With a tall glass in there, the top half completely obscures your climate control, heater, air conditioner. Uh, the bottom half completely obscures the radio. Can't see that. Can't see the clock at all. Uh, Mine, like many of them, is broken. It comes right out and it's just very, very, very flimsy. Um, this little piece falls down here and that's supposed to provide support. Well, that can't hold anything. Um, it's just very cheap, very flimsy design and it's a poor placement because it obscures your, basically your entire panel there. So let's throw that guy away. So anyway, I want to build a cup holder area for down here. There's a little change compartment that I figured I could use as a base. Put a footing in there. Uh, it's going to block your parking brake, but I can live with that. So, piece of wood right over the top and, and rest in front. Uh, you know, put a couple little uh, holes in there and have the cup holder where it ought to be and a whole lot more sturdy and not get in the way of the radio or the AC. So, stay tuned for construction in progress. So here's what it looks like prior to sanding and painting and making all pretty. Just a basic platform with a couple holes in it for cups. This little piece at the bottom I had to cut and sand to size. That 2x4 block is going to go in the change holder. And I had to angle the front support to because the, uh, the console has, has got a bit of an angle to it. So did that, put a little cross brace support in there. It's a pretty simple uh, apparatus here, so I'm just gonna do some sanding to it and sand the, uh, you know, sand the edges so that they're all rounded and I'll paint it the same color as the inside and we should be good to go. And there it is painted black. Um, I should point out, you can see it doesn't sit flat on a flat surface. Well, that's on purpose. Uh, I had to use cardboard templates, you know, like pieces of cereal box, if you will, to cut out the bottom because, of course, uh, the bottom of the console uh, is not flat, so you had to make it so that when installed in the car, of course, the unit itself is going to sit perfectly flat and straight left and right front to back. So I uh, just sanded off the edges to make them a little bit nice and smooth and, and not uh, so sharp. Uh, sanded around the insides of the cup holder uh, area. And we'll spin it around this way so you can see the profile on the front. And that's pretty much it. We'll let this paint dry and we'll uh, we'll get some shots inside the car, ready to rock. Well, it's the next day and the paint's dry, so let's see how I did. I'll put that in there. And we'll give it some pressure. Looks pretty darn good to me. Let's uh, sit down and get it in action. Balance is pretty nice. The old ashtray there, Got the old cup holder there. Make sure we're not in the way of the gear. Nope. Not in the way at all. You can see the HVAC, you can see the clock, you can see the radio. Good, uh, good location. Looks like it was made to be there.